Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Chucky, and today we are going to talk about enhancing and decorating finished products. Enhancing decorating finished products. This is your first lesson in TLE6 Industrial Arts. For this quarter, we are going to talk about industrial arts. Industrial arts play an important role in economy. Many occupations and businesses belong to this area. Thousands are employed in different industrial works, both in rural and urban areas. This lesson will acquaint you with different products made of bamboo, wood, and metal that are designed, manufactured, and are sold both here and abroad. It will also discuss ways by which one can enhance finished products made of these materials. Before we start with our discussion today, let's have a guessing game. Can you guess what this is all about? What? I will give you a hint. This is actually one of the finished products that our learner submitted last year before the pandemic. Woo! I hope you will have the idea of what this thing is all about. Let me begin with a simple discussion citing the importance why we have to decorate and enhance bamboo, wood, and metal products. Importance of enhancing decorating bamboo, wood, and metal products. Finished products tend to be more saleable to customers when enhanced and decorated. Enhanced and decorated finished products help maintain their durability to harsh elements. Finished products that are enhanced or decorated beautify the product itself. You might have visited a furniture shop. Well, of course, you can see that those woods over there are being enhanced and decorated. So let me share to you some methods of decorating and enhancing bamboo, wood, and metal products. Methods of Enhancing Decorating Bamboo, Wood, and Metal Products Woodcraft and bamboo craft can be enhanced using a variety of methods and techniques. This includes wood turning. It is a process of using a lathe to make various forms and shapes of wood. Hand carving is considered a wood craft in which a sharp object is used to create designs on the wood. Various textures and surfaces can be created using this technique. Tools such as a chip carving knife, gouges, and chisels are used. Pyrography is considered an art using fire or heat to decorate wood or leather. Plucking technique lines the interior of drawers and boxes with a soft, velvety finish. Inlaying combines several techniques that involve inserting decorative pieces into a base object to incorporate new designs on the original product. Gilding is considered as a decorative technique in which powder is applied in wood or other materials to give a thin coating of gold. Methods of this technique include gluing, chemical gilding, and electroplating. Staining is used to color wood to give an illusion of texture. This may come in two varieties. First, pigment-based stain will color large pores of the wood, while dye-based stain colors small pores of the wood. Painting is considered the simplest way of decorating wood since there is a variety of colors that you can choose from. One may also add a lacquer finish to make it more shiny and glossy. Metal Craft Enhancing Techniques The following are some techniques used to enhance or add design elements on metal products. Engraving It is a method of transferring a design on metal using a hardened steel tool called burn or graver to cut into the surface of the metal. 
etching is a process used to make designs or pictures on a metal plate by using acid that produces corrosive action. In modern manufacturing, strong chemicals are used on other types of materials. Adding metal enhancing media such as metal paints, copic markers, and antiquing kits give color to the metal product. Metal paints may be applied using a brush or spray. Texturing and embossing. In this technique, you will need hammers, metal stamps, stencils, and other materials to create imprints on the metal. Though there are new technologies used to emboss a metal with different textures, a hammer and nail can still be used to create your own design. Products made of bamboo, wood, and metal are much in demand both in the local and international market. With the evolving needs of today's consumers, many entrepreneurs are continuously creating and innovating products in order to cater to the demands of the market. So I have here some questions and I hope that you can answer them. What is the importance of enhancing and decorating finished products? What innovative methods and techniques can be used to enhance bamboo, wood, and metal products? With the challenge of globalization all over the world, how can local products be more competitive in the market? And before we are going to end our discussion for today, I would like you to remember. Bamboo, wood, and metal products can be enhanced and decorated to increase their marketability and saleability. Now, let us try to answer this very short quiz and let us find out if you have taken down notes and you can remember what I have just mentioned a while ago. Identify the methods in enhancing wood, bamboo, and metal products. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Let's have number one. It is a process of using a lathe to make various forms and shapes of wood. Letter A, wood turning. B, hand carving. C, pyrography. Number two, it is a method of creating designs on the wood using sharp object. Letter A, pyrography. B, hand carving. C, flocking. Number three, which is considered an art using fire or heat 
to decorate wood. Letter A. Gilding. B. Inlaying. C. Pyrography. 4. It is used to color wood and give an illusion of texture. Letter A. Staining. B. Texturing. C. Etching. Number 5. This is considered a decorative technique in which powder is applied on wood or other materials. Letter A. Embossing. B. Painting. C. Gilding. And lastly, before we end up our discussion for today, let's have this part. Now, do you know what is the name of this thing that I am holding right now? You can type your answer in the comment section. I am going to share to you the answer of that question in the next video lesson that I am going to publish soon. That's all for today. I hope that you have learned something from me. This is Teacher Jackie saying bye-bye.